onion and the garlic not from the garden everything else from the garden oh yeah <laughs> welcome to my channel my friends Mary here from farming on the rock so how are you doing I am going to be making breakfast only from my garden all ingredients from my garden this morning but my husband can't wait on the breakfast so I'm going to make him a sandwich with some of these lettuce and then finish up my harvesting these keep coming back whenever I harvest them how are you doing guys I have another one here coming Alright, now that his belly is full, I can come out and harvest these to, to prepare in a minute. Alright, start right here. I have quite a bit to get off, so I need to hurry because the sun, this is starting to seed, but I'm going to eat it nonetheless. They're still edible. I'm allowed down there to spring back. More food. Another one here. And these tomatoes. These are, they look a little bit diseased, but they're still producing fruit. So once they're done producing, I'll just take them out of the garden. I need two of these hot peppers. <laughs> Guys, remember these peppers? Ah, my God. They have a nice, sweet, hot flavor though, so I love them. These hot peppers right here. Can you see them? They're huge. It's one tiny tomato on this plant. Right here. guys you don't want to feel the heat that's coming off of this rock on me right now ah waited too late to get out here it's almost well it's about 9 30 now my butternut is coming on lovely quite a bit of you i have quite a bit of new friends on here who have never seen me prepare kalaloo or amaranth so i'm going to show you Oh, I prepare it this morning my beans are starting to produce you see those can't wait need a little piece of time from here <clears throat> I still have not gotten a chance to use the neem oil yet guys I am so busy life is hectic just a little piece of time to come through and look for worms on these see this cabbage is starting to form the head yay this one as a little i don't think this one is going to be big it has been there so long 
all right i need to get all no i'm going to get some of these and leave some to go to seed Just some of them. My container is already full. Oh dear. This is the marigold. Wonder how soon it will bloom. I can't wait to see that pop of yellow. See those wasp they help me up with the aphids so i don't mind them hanging around in the garden i'm going to harvest these red ones and all of this green i'm taking this plant out totally today to give my body space Guys, this is so yummy when harvested fresh. Guys, take a look at my tomatoes. I wanted to see those, but because I touched the disease plant up there a while ago, I don't want to touch this, but I'm trying to give you a peek at the fruit. Can you see those right down in there? Oh my God, guys, these are what we call salad tomatoes i'm so happy that's a volunteer yeah these these color load they're so nice fresh i'm taking this entire plant out so my my body can breathe i can't cook this much because it's only me and my husband, so I'm going to put some in the fridge. Just put it in some clean wrap and store it in the fridge. Or I could clean it, cut it up, and put it in a bag and cook it another day. Alright, so this is the plant right here. I'm going to take it out. Otherwise, by next week, we have a huge bunch of green callaloo again. Or should I leave it? I'm going to leave leave it for now and you vote in the comments and tell me whether or not I should take it out and give this lovely badu the opportunity to just sp spread its wings. This is a volunteer pepper. It's some form of sweet pepper. I don't know which one, but it is starting to produce. I don't think that will be too much arm, but I need to take those little ones out, put somewhere else. Alright, so let me know guys if I should take out the mother plants or just allow it to stay there and get another crop from it. Look at that wasp. Let me check my okra. There are always okra on here. Yeah, there is one. Never fails me. Good. There you go. And more coming on. And more here. Nice. Alright, let me go and get some of those collards or whatever brassica they are. Guys, my garden is getting bushy the way I love it. I am enjoying my garden. Those are the same salads. I guess those volunteers came from one, one tomato. <laughs> Look at these things. I'm not seeing anything in there. So, it seems like it is colored greens after all Wait, guys i wish i could i could um really show you what the size of these leaves are let me try look at that oh my god the leaves are huge 
huge, huge, huge leaves. Look at that. And I'm going to chop these up and cook them with my kalaloo. The leaves are huge. This is a red okra that is trying to make its way out. But the leaves on these. I Look at that, guys. Look at vegetable. There is no way I can cook all of this for just two of us. Absolutely no way. Look at that. I was kind of upset when I bought beetroot and got these seeds instead of beetroot in the beetroot packet. But now I am happy I did. Everything in life happens for a reason, right? <laughs> Look at that. Oh my god. This is incredible. This is incredible. And they're so they're so pretty. Thank God the pests are leaving it alone. I am so thrilled that it is not being attacked by anything so far. I'm happy about that. This is our second harvest from them. So I'm going to leave them like that for another day. And this scotch bonnet. Alright guys, so this scotch bonnet, it came from that same pepper that I'm getting the brown peppers from up top. And this one, based on the shape of this tiny one, it seems as though this is going to be the yellow pepper. So that is good. Never seen that in my life. All right. Let me get one of these hot peppers. You guys will have to come out one day no matter how you're fighting it. Because I'm not getting the production. The size of the peppers are way smaller one. And I'm not getting the number that I usually get when the plants were younger. But they keep putting on young peppers. They don't want to get out of here. This is a mountain of food right here. Look at that. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. My volunteer tomato is starting to blush. Awesome. Look at my little butternut squash that I pollinated. It seems as though it is going to hold. Beautiful. Beautiful. I've been eating from this. Um colored greens and it is still looking good I have a bunch of tomato to get off of this plant my good old faithful tomato plant right here Look at that. as a matter of fact I'm not going to pick more than this because I still have some from yesterday's harvest inside so Let's go finish up breakfast. All right, so I've cleaned everything. I removed the, this middle part of the collard leaves and stripped the callaloo and remove any bad leaves or damaged leaves or any stem that, that might be too tough. And I'm soaking them now in salt water. So if there are any insects that I missed, so so good there are no worms on them at all. But if, if there are any little spiders or anything like that that I missed, they will float to the top of the water once the salt um, touches them. I'm not seeing anything. But I'm going to allow it to soak for about five minutes and then I'll chop them finely and show you how I prepare it. Alright, so that is what the callaloo looks like all chopped and this is the collards and the one okra that I just harvested along with some banana peppers, tomatoes, onions, garlic and thyme. Onion and the garlic, not from the garden, everything else from the garden. Oh yeah! 
<laughs> so I'm sauteing the aromatic vegetables first. That's the onion, the garlic, um, the peppers, hot and sea peppers, tomatoes, and the thyme. And then I'm going to add the, um, the collard, because that is the hardest to cook. And then I'm going to add the color leaf. Guys, can you imagine me eating this and calling it collard? And a couple of weeks from now, I add up something pop out the top, like say a broccoli or a cauliflower. <laughs> Well then, I can say I've not eaten broccoli or cauliflower leaves, right? right so I'm going to cover this and allow this to cook a little bit first and then we add the parallel and season. Now, you know what? Let me add some salt and pepper to this while it cooks. And because this is a lot more veggie, we're going to season with some all-purpose seasoning. Use the one of your choice. I'm using Maggie all-purpose. This is some more salt to your taste. And a little more pepper, if you choose to. This is black pepper. You can add cayenne pepper, white pepper, any pepper you like to taste and stir this and allow it to steam I'm adding a little piece of butter to add a nice flavor to it. In about three minutes, this will be ready. It's really, really easy to cook. Especially if the color is fresh and young because if they're tough it will take much longer all right there you go it's all done now so that is it thank you so so much for joining me as always i appreciate you guys so much i can't express how much i appreciate you all thank you for the comments and the kind encouragements the critiques constructive criticism i appreciate each and every one of the suggestions the recommendations the cautions i appreciate you all thank you so much guys if you're watching and you've not yet subscribed please go ahead and press that subscribe button and also the notification bell so you will be notified once i post another video please remember to like Leave a comment and share with your friends because if you like my videos, chances are they will like them too. Alright, thank you so much. Bye-bye.